Hello all, this is just a review of my build. Uh, my build is based on this case, which is the Silverstone FT-03. Um, this is only a temporary setup, so please ignore all the wires and whatnot. Uh, I'm just going to go over what's inside the case, um, start-up time, and yeah. So, let's get straight into it. Uh, let me just take this glue off. So, here is where all the I.O. ports are. So you've got the, this is the graphics card, you've got two DI, uh, display input ports, you've got HDMI port and a DVI port. Um, this is the motherboard, the motherboard is a 90 degree orientation, normally it's at the back of the case but it's, this stops all the wires from coming out of the back so you can push it into a corner. So all the I.O is at the top, so you've got two USBs, so you've got a PS2, um, what's that on there, sorry, uh, HDMI. Sorry, my hands are. You got HDMI, then you got optical out. You got DVI, VGA, two more USB 2.0s, um, external SATA, uh, USB 3.0s, LAN, and audio um, components. These these are the front the front IOs. You got uh, two USB 3.0s and uh, audio and mic. Um, these. Do run out of here, and you have to connect these into the motherboard. Some motherboards you can connect to them inside the case, but um, it's nice that this case gives you the option of doing this. Um, so yeah, you got a fan. I think this is one twenty mil. Um, that's about it for the top. Oh yeah, you got the hot swap bay here as well. I don't have a hard drive in there, but you can't really see it. But there's connectors down there. You literally just pop the hard drive in, close it, and uh, the hard drive is ready to go. So. Bear with me while I just try and turn this around. So, take the side off, you just lift it up and pull it off. And then, inside, I know the light is not great, but um, there's my graphics card. The graphics card is the Sapphire uh, Radeon HD7850. It's the overclocked edition, so you get 900 megahertz rather than, I think it was 860. It's not much, it's also got 2 gigabytes of um, memory as well. Uh, behind that stock fan is the um, oh, what is it? AMD FX Bulldozer, it's the 8 core 8120. Um, I, in one of my videos, uh, I, com I didn't complain, but I stated that the um, sticker wasn't in the centre, but I think it's meant to be like, so when it spins the fan itself, it looks like it's uh, one big sticker. Uh, down here is my RAM, it's the Cos Corsair Vengeance, they're two 4 gig sticks, so I've got 8 gigabytes of RAM in total. Um, my motherboard, oh, my motherboard, what's my motherboard? Um, it's the M5A88M Evo, if I said that correctly. Um, here's the optical bay, um, this is one of the tri tricky things I tried to get my head around before I bought this case. I was like, because oh, there's not many reviews or whatnot. I've got a review on it if you want to watch it. If you're, but that is because I was just wondering like what what kind of bays it took. Um, if you look in my watch my review, it has all of them, and my uh, power supply. You can't really see it, any logos or, but it is the Antec True Power seven eight fifty watt. Um, my hard drives are all on the other side. Uh, I'm just gonna turn the case around. Bear me before I do it. I'll be like five seconds. Sorry about that, okay, uh, the case is turned around, same again this side, you just pull up and pull it off. Okay, so here is my hard drive, I've got the Seagate 1TB Barracuda and the Corsair Vulse Series 3 60GB uh, SSD. Uh, cable management is quite hard in this case, I've done an alright job, it's probably a like one of the best you're going to get because it is a small case and the cables are built for big cases so you have to um, tuck them away as neatly as possible um, yeah so that's about it as you, is this, this is the hot swap bay that I spoke about earlier so you just press that it flicks up and lifts it out for you um, yeah let me get on to boot up times um, it's all set up so let me just press this button 
Oh, it would help if I turn the power supply on. I'll wind that it. Uh, let me just get a stopwatch so I can time uh, how long it will be. All right. Let me get a stopwatch on. Where is it? Mode. I do know how to work it. Just bear with me. Stopwatch, there you go. Alright. I'll try and make it as accurate as possible by pressing one straight after the other. So here we go. Three, two, right. I've got to do this somewhere. Come on, I can do it. I'll do it like that. Alright. Three, two, one. There's the screen and stopwatch. Alright, that took 36 seconds and 32 milliseconds. Um, now that it's on, uh, as you can see here, I didn't go over these at the start, you got the power LED and the hard drive LED. Um, inside, there's not much going on, there's a red LED there because I've got the um, turbo processing unit on. Uh, I have overclocked my CPU. I've got, um, what have I got? I've got 3.6 gigahertz rather than the 3.1 standard. Um, I've also got the core unlocker, but the LED's not on because you enable it in the BIOS. Um, that means all eight cores are unlocked. Uh, because I had a big problem with this uh, optical CD drive, um, I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, I think I've got CDs here. I think I've got a bolt. The born to, oh, here we go. Alright, it does work a lot like the Mac um, CD tray. So you literally just put the disc in here and push it in, and then it takes it in for you. Uh, and if you can see here, it starts up sooner or later. There you go, start it up. And then, as you can see, there's no buttons to inject it. You'll probably be asking, how do you inject it? Um, one way is some keyboards come with an eject button, so you just hit that. My one doesn't, so you just, once you've, once you've finished watching the movie, you just exit, and then you go into my, or computer, my computer, and then left click on the device and just press eject and then as you can see it just comes straight out and then that's it okay that is pretty much everything of my build um, I hope you enjoyed it, do you want to see shutdown times? Uh, I won't time it because uh, it was pretty hard with a stopwatch and whatnot so let me go to shutdown instead of just pressing the, bu pressing the button where's the mouse? There's a mouse. Alright, shut down. Full system shut down. System is off. Alright, um, thanks for watching my video. Um, hopefully, in the near future, I'll be doing unboxing reviews of like products, the PS Vita and whatnot. I might even do a review on my iPad, is what I'm, iPad 2, is what I'm filming on now. Uh, so thanks for watching feel free to subscribe and yeah thanks for watching